Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, and I thank the member from Kingston and the Islands. Um, just a reminder that the Green Party exists as well as far as opposition goes, but I'll await his, uh, his comments on that. Um, so I'd just like to point to some, some substance. I'm not sure how much there was in his speech today, but I really want to get a clear answer on why there was a two-tiered system set up for our seniors in this country. Can I have an explanation on the, the, the $500 one-time payment and the OAS increase only being extended to those 75 and over? Um, I, I really need help understanding this. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Honourable Member for Kingston and the Island has one minute to respond. I certainly have a great re uh, respect for the members of the, of the Green Party, and I apologize if she uh, felt, out, felt left out that I didn't include them when I was talking about the opposition. Maybe that's because I have nothing bad to say. Who knows, Madam Speaker? But, the, but to answer her question, uh, listen, what we know from the data is that the older you get, the, less, uh, the more you burn through your savings, the more you burn through your retirement, the more expenses you incur as a result of... Uh, 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 of, uh, of health care and so on. So my question to the member would be, well, would you rather spread, would you rather take the available money for those top-ups and put it, give it to just people over 75? Or would you rather go all the way back to 65 but give people less money? You know, these are the questions that, uh, you know, I'm sure uh, that are being debated in the, in the budgetary process, uh, and I'm sure she can respect them, and I would love to hear what her position is on that. Do we give more to people over 75 or less to everybody?